Hi, my name is Mike Duncan and I'm with Salient Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to include a user interface widget known as a hamburger menu. What I'm talking about is this little guy up here, this three lines. And when we click on it, we get a nice little slide out kind of menu here that lets us navigate the file. You can see that even though it is a slider, you aren't able to click through to the layout underneath it. If you click off of it, it closes automatically. This technique also works in list view. We'll bring that up see what that looks like. It goes over the uh, list layout. Go back here. Let's take a look at how this works. So you notice that this button here isn't actually the pop-up menu. This just runs a script. The actual menu is highlighted here and you'll notice that it has a behavior attribute set to always hide. You put a one in there it's never going to show up in browse mode no matter what. We just need it to contain our pop-up which in turn holds a slider. So you'll see here's a pop-up and I'm using these yellow labels that will always hide just to give us some indication of which slide we're on. So we're going to start out at stage left and turn animations on move to stage center. So again you can see what that looks like in browse mode. Slide out, slide in. So how do we get it to slide back in when we click out? Well if we look at the script trigger on the pop-up you'll actually see that there is a on object exit and all that's going to do is tell our script to move from one panel to the other given this the appearance that it slides back out of view. So that happens automatically whenever you click off this popover so when, when we tell the popover to close it's going to run our script. And again here's what that looks like. Click off. So it gives us a handy little menu widget that we can easily apply to most any file and you can actually style this to however you like. These are just buttons here. You can read more about this technique and get the sample file on our blog which you can find in the links below. I hope you find this useful. Please check our other videos on Slant TV and thank you for watching.